Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to do another first time setup video. Today we're going to be going through the first time setup for the P21. Uh, this is the all-in-one monitor, camera, speakers, light ring, the whole works uh, from Polycom. So a neat looking unit. And so we did unbox this in our unboxing video if you want to check that out. And so I have all the components laid out here. And what I'm going to highlight first here is there's actually a sticker here that gives you a bit of a warning um, in terms of your setup. And I'll just peel that off there. And so although it does give you a website where you can go for some assistance on setting up, um, but it is important that you install the Poly Lens app before you actually go ahead and connect the monitor. And so that is just noting this here on the sticker. And then there is a, a short uh, installation guide on the website on how to set this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. I will move that out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach the monitor to the base to get things started. So it is very simply slips on quite simply. Now it does come with a USB cable and you'll see here that there is uh, two pieces to this cable. There's the USB-C and there's the other end that has C or A. It's got the little adapter to go on there. An important note is that this end of the C cable must go to the monitor and this end with the adapter must go to your computer. The cable will not work the other way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that connected and then we'll put some power on the monitor and open up the Polycom Lens app. go so we've got the power and the USB connected okay so we've got the power connected and I do have a little uh, light on screen here to show me that it's connected and I'm going to go ahead and open up the poly lens app so it does note that I need to install some additional software here so I'm going to go ahead and do that now So it looks like we're installing some driver graphics here. Our graphics drivers. Okay, so I've successfully installed it and I do now see that my display is being extended onto the monitor here. So I'm going to go back over to the Lens app. And so we'll see here that uh, we do have some software updates available if we want to upgrade it. And we've got some controls here in terms of managing the device. So I'm just going to click through these tabs to see what's there. So again, I can configure some of the buttons that are on screen, like the rocket button here, set it up with specific functions. And again, I can configure the LED brightness and how I want those lights to work when I'm in a call. I can adjust all my volume and ringtones. And then again, I can also uh, refactor, reset the device if I need to here. So I'm gonna go ahead and perform a software update just to bring it up to the latest software revisions. And then we'll go ahead and try some calls. Okay, so we've done our software update, so we should be on the latest version now. So with this now fully set up on the latest software revision, I've got my output and by default, I can see that it is mirroring my laptop display onto this display. And so I can change that under the normal Windows settings where you go into your display settings 
And if I want to, I can switch that from mirroring um, to extending it. And so that I can then have two different monitors or the same thing on both monitors. And that's just a setting you can do under your display settings in Windows. So for now, I'll just leave it mirrored so that we've got the same on both monitors. So let's go ahead and uh, join a meeting and see how the meeting experience is using this with the audio video camera and the lighting. So I have joined my video meeting here and I'm using a Zoom room right now. And so by default, it did pick up my default settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that and switch over to the Polycom Studio P21. And it does look like the iris is closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. So there is a physical uh, cover on the top that you can actually open and close your camera. And so I'll open that up so that I am getting a camera feed and you can see uh, our studio preview there. And then I'll also make sure that I'm gonna select um, the microphone is the P21 and I will select my speakers as the P21 as well. So now everything will go through this. So you also note now that, that I've joined a video call, the uh, edge lighting or the, the lights for the call have come on. So now if I was in an environment where I needed better lighting, I've got those lights giving me that nice uh, image so that it shows up well on video. So pretty simple setup. We're on a video meeting, camera's working, display's working, microphone, lights are working. So a pretty simple setup all together to get it uh, up and running on my laptop. Uh, so we'll look at next is we'll just dive into a few more settings in the Poly Lens app and how we can customize the P21. So I've opened the app and selected the P21 and I'm under the settings tab. And so the first thing we can adjust is this rocket button that's on screen here. And so it does act as a play and pause button. So if I've got music playing, things like that, I can adjust that. And then I can also configure that rocket button based on what I'd like it to do when I do it. So if I want it to answer the call or end a call uh, or play or pause music, again, all of those things are configurable here. Okay, so now we'll take a quick look at the app button. This one is actually a little bit hidden until you assign something. So you'll see on the app button, I can choose between Zoom or Microsoft Teams. And you'll see that right now I have it set to Zoom and the Zoom icon shows up on screen. And if I switch it to Teams, you'll see that it switches to the Teams icon. When you first set up the P21, neither one of these is selected and that button is blank. So it's actually a little bit hard to see. I actually missed it at first. And so now that I've actually selected one of these meeting platforms, I can actually see where that button is and it is a touch display. So if I click that, it should go ahead and uh, launch a Zoom meeting for me. And then we've got some tones that when you mute or unmute. So you can see right now there's a little beep. And so I can customize what that looks like. So if I change it to a double tone, and now I get the double tone. I can also adjust the brightness of my display using this here. So if I want it a little bit brighter and I can see that that's increasing in brightness. And again, we can configure what the lights do when it's in an idle state, when it's in a call, when there's a call coming in, uh, and adjusting the overall brightness of those lights. We'll also see here that there is wireless charging. And so down here on the base, we've got this little raised platform where you can set your cell phone as a contact charger. So again, another little great feature for cleaning up your desk, getting things off of it, having everything in that one spot. And then further configurations is adjusting some of the volume controls here. So in all, the P21 is a pretty simple device to set up, but a nice looking device with a lot of features packed into one simple display. So I hope that helps you with uh, setting up your P21, and we'll see you on the next video.